one. Hello, my strikers. Get shotguns out. Move to another top five zombies video. There's a lot of things that make Call of Duty zombies, whether it be pack a punch, the perks, or the maps in general. But the one, one thing that really does stand out about Call of Duty zombies is the wall weapon. Those weapons you can buy right off the walls. They're not m meant to be put into the high rounds, but some of them can be brought into the high rounds and be used quite effectively. And here's my list of my top five favorite wall weapons. Now, if your wall weapon that's your favorite is on this list, there's a list in the comment section below. Oh, and it's probably an honorable mention because honestly, a lot of the wall weapons are good, especially in Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is some of the best wall weapons in Call of Duty Zombies history. I had like a long list of honorable mentions, but I had to cut it down to two, which are going to be the Uzi, which is 15,000 points, is upgraded to your Uncle Gale, and the Elsa, 2,000 points, and is upgraded into the first, which I think is a great name. And the only reasons they didn't make it on the list were two main reasons. One, the Uzi costs 15,000 points, and I think that's way too much. There is one weapon been on this list that does cost 15,000 thousand points that I believe deserves a whole lot more but based on the Uzi's fire rate and the ammo count it doesn't really should cost 50,000 it should cost like a thousand and replace the mp5 or something but that's why that didn't make the list and the LSAT was only on one map as a wall weapon badass may it be a wall weapon you're gonna want is what oh, is meant to be a wall weapon the wall that's kind of the point of a wall weapon and because you can't buy ammo off it, because once you buy it, you, you're basically done, it's kind of down here. Powerful as it may be, it is down here in the honorable benches. But let's quit rambling on and get into the number 5 spot. And in today's video, we have got the SG-44, costing think, 1,400 points or 1,200 points, depending on the map you're playing. It first appeared in Nocturne Tolton, the first zombie map ever, and was a box weapon, but first appeared as a wall weapon in the map Veruk. This it has a slow fire rate in the World of War maps, but as it gets to Black Ops 2, it has a lot faster fire rate, especially if you pair it with Double Tap 2.0. has incredible damage and is upgraded to the Spats 44.7. I don't, I don't even know. 40, excuse me, 44.7 plus. I have no clue. It's a good name. Don't get me wrong, but I absolutely love the STG. When I'm playing like Origins or something. I will go, and when I get a chance, I will automatically go for the STG. I'll trade in my MP40 right for the STG, because I absolutely love it. And coming in, at the number 4 spot, we have got the PDW. The PDW first appeared as a wall weapon in Die Rise, and proceeded throughout Oat Buried. It didn't come into, into the wall weapons in Mob of the Dead and Origins, but it got put into the box and became a box weapon. And which I think is okay, but the PDW deserves to be a wall weapon. It is so freaking good for a wall weapon. Costing a thousand points, but is actually free and buried. Because if you think about it, the trucks give you a thousand points if you put it on the wall. Well, how much does the PDW cost? A thousand points. That's basically a free weapon right there, which is absolutely sick. And its upgraded name is the Predictive Death Wish. 57,000. And just the predictive death which is such a cool name. PDW is actually really powerful, but it can be a great points maker into the higher rounds. Great weapon. Absolutely love it. That could have been higher, and there's a freaking plane outside. But comes in number four. And coming in at the number three spot, this one may be a shocker for you that I'm putting it above the PDW is the SVU. This sniper rifle is amazing. Zing. When I was going through the things on my list on um, what to keep and what to scrap, I'm thinking the SVU. When Di Rise came out, which, which this gun was introduced in, it was freaking amazing. I love this weapon. This was my go-to weapon. My friends knew you know, that if I was playing this map, I ain't hitting the box. I'm grabbing this weapon and another weapon off the wall, and it is absolutely in freaking sane. Cost a thousand points again, free on barrier because. 1,000 points for chalk, pretty damn good. Upgraded to the Shadowly Veil Utilizer, this is what it's called. I don't know, but this thing is a headshot machine. With double tap, it is an absolute monster and will definitely bring you to high rounds if you're using a camping strategy. Pressing with its sleight of hand and you will just be mowing down the hordes like you wouldn't believe. 
And that's my number three pick, which is going to be the SVU. And coming in, in the number two spot, we have got the AN94. Yes, you may be completely surprised. But remember, this is not the most powerful. Well, this is my favorite. And the AN94 is probably the most powerful wonder weapon. That I would not be surprised if you guys would be pissed off if I didn't put this at number one. But it, it costs 1,200 points, and it's absolutely amazing. It appeared in Die Rise, and it went into Berries. It, and I just think it should have been in every Black Ops 2 map as a wall weapon. This gun is absolutely fan freaking tastic Amazing. It's upgraded to the actuated neutralizer 94,000, and it is sick. This weapon is just as good as an LMG. It has so much ammo in the clip, it's not even funny. And it is just so powerful. And is insane. The two weapons I run when I play Die Rise, A94 and SVU. That's my setup for the game. That's how I why I win the game. It is just freaking amazing. I love these these weapons, bins that I've listed so far. I love the A94, but this one weapon, one weapon lends by a landslide, just because I'm a sucker for mobster weapons. Cause coming in at the number one spot, we got the M1927 Tommy Gun, in costing fifty. 1,500 points, appearing as a wall weapon in only one map, Mob of the Dead, Mob of the Dead, why? I'm not including the Thompson in this, yes, the Thompson was good, but the Tommy gun, the Tommy fucking gun, I love that round drum magazine that you get with it, has so much freaking ammo, 50 in the clip, and 350 in the reserve, it's actually scary that I know the ammo count right off the bat, I don't even need to do research for that, and it's upgraded into the speakeasy, and it's freaking amazing, I absolutely love this weapon, sure, when it gets in the high round, it's okay, but I absolutely love this weapon, it's my go-to buy every time I'm out of the dead, I'm not buying any other weapon, unless it's the Tommy gun, I'm getting the Tommy gun and the free blunder gas. Yeah, and that is pretty much it. But then, yeah, I love all the weapons in Mob of the Dead, so it's not really saying much. But the Tommy Gun is by far my favorite wall weapon in Call of Duty Zombies history. And that is my list for my top five favorite weapons in Call of Duty Zombies history. Leave in the comment section below what your top five favorite weapons are. Tell me what you think I got right, what you think I got wrong, and if I'm an absolute retard for not adding things like the AK-74U or the MP40 or... Guns like that. Remember, they're all great weapons. Hell, even the Olympia is an amazing wall weapon. Been one upgraded. But these are my top picks. They're my favorite. And that's pretty much it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.